So in terms of the video solution, like what attracted you the most to Socialive as you were doing your research into um, which product you would end up getting? Um, Socialive's integrations were really amazing. You know, again, recognizing what we were doing in a live space and wanting to bring that design element and just that professionalism to our virtual events was really awesome. And the team was so supportive um, of, of helping us get online and of making sure that we were equipped to create excellent programming. In terms of now, like how are you using Social Live? How has it evolved? Um, what types of content are you creating? So we're using Social Live in many different parts of the company now, which has been really awesome. So we're still producing about nine to 10 events per month, um, which will continue to just go up as we continue to explore what, what we can do with Social Live. Um, and wanting to also, like I said, integrate with our video team. They have a great process on their end, but we were able to find some really great integrations and optimizations by partnering with them to cut down on their staff time and to be able to get things out to our viewers a little bit quicker um, and taking things live to tape essentially and being able to cut them. Um, we've done that both internally with our video folks as well as with sponsors and, and providing a place for sponsors to pre-record their remarks and they can provide feedback and, and we just have a really great um, collaborative environment now, even though we're all virtual. I know you spoke a little bit about this um, and I think it would just be very impactful to hear it from you and, and if you could elaborate on the types of uh, shows that you've been able to do in terms of Foursquare and even some of the round tables with the inequality um, issues of healthcare and education. Um, if you could just speak to those a little bit. Yeah, so we really have been able to hit a wide range of virtual events. Um, we've produced everything from our basic newsmaker interviews with our playbook franchise, and then kind of gone across the board and been able to do, like you said, our Inequality in America um, roundtable events. The, we've had a series of four town halls, and then even gone all the way as so far as to create multi-segmented shows with our conventions work. Um, so, you know, again, it's really allowed us to take the content that we're creating in the newsroom and complement all of that and complement these tentpole moments with programming that fits the, the needs of our audience and also the needs of our newsroom.